Okay, so this is uh, again from Nirex, um, authorized distributor for Mimagi and Lockup printers. Now I just want to show you how you can connect um, your computer to the printer to make it work. First thing you have to do is connect the LAN cable. So I'm going to take it out from the desktop now. And then I'm going to connect it directly to my laptop because I want to use my laptop for this. So I take out the cable. And then um, you go to the laptop, you connect it to the LAN port at the back there. Okay. So put it in. Okay. So now it's in. You switch on your computer. Sorry, the computer is on. You switch on the printer. And what you have to do is because the generic version or the cracked version usually works best with um, Windows 7. So I'm using a Windows 7 operating system here. You go to your network settings. There. And then network sharing center. Then you change adapter. Change adapter settings. So that's it there. So you right click there. And then properties internet protocol for tcp ipv4 double click on that and that's the code you enter 196120188 and then you click ok and ok so you see now it's identifying but it's not in right just put it in properly so the network is connected so you go down and go to your alignment tool that's um, this with a P there. Double click on that and then you click connect. So once you, once you connect, you see it comes to live and some digits enter there. So what you need to do next is uh, alignment, alignment test. So you click on HDI align and then it says printing. And then prints these numbers so when it prints these numbers you look for the straightest line and here it's um, zero or say uh, minus one minus one is the oh, zero minus one minus one is the straightest line so you go there and then to this figure here you subtract one so that's 28 and then you click save so the head alignment is sharp and then that's done but always leave this connected, leave it open. You can minimize while you're doing other things. You just do that. Minimize, okay. So once you're done with the head alignment and everything, the next thing you have to do is um, go to main top. So here we've already installed the drivers and everything. So I just want to show you how to print from main top. So you go to files, new. I usually set it on one three zero zero millimeter by two thousand millimeter because we usually print on the media of 1.3 1.37 and then you click ok and when that is done you go to files again and then you import picture have your picture saved in a tiff format so i'm just going to check if i've got any tiff files here mm, let me see we might get printed documents let's go there Okay. Mm. I don't think I have a TIFF file here. Um, let me go back and check. Go back. And then I go to Drive C. Mm. Main top, Maggie output. Print files. So. to get okay let's try DS, DS security I think that's a yeah it's a TIFF image so you click that and I usually go here and say adjust the picture size and then you click OK so now we have that there so what you do next is go here click print and then you see the properties there it should show the printer as easy jets this is a 
XP600, so that's the ICC driver. And then you go to properties. Just make sure it's on the four pass now, but um, I usually like to print on the six pass for quality. So you click that, and then you go to a six pass, and you see it's that um, 360 by 1080. So make sure the one at the top corresponds with that. 180, yeah. And then you auto set paper, and then you click OK, and then click OK again. So you see, it shows that you just um, put it on restart manually by user and click OK. So now it's going to start printing. So it's printing. So it's ripping and printing at the same time. You see that? So that's how you print. You can close this if you want or keep it open. So you see it prints from the top and then the photo starts coming out. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop this because this is just a test. Let me go to that exit. Enter, okay, and then exit. Yeah, cancel. 